Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be taking a look at my new tool chest and cabinet, roll cabinet. I bought these February 2017. Machine Mart were doing a deal on their tool storage and uh, I got a bit of a discount on these so I took advantage of that to be able to buy those at the time and save some money. Uh, it was before I started the new workshop build so uh, it killed me that they had to, for their uh, protection really, uh, stay boxed up in the house out of the way for uh, the duration of the build until they finally got brought out in, uh, I think it was around um, October time when the electrics were finished in here. And um, <clears throat> I will do a tour of the workshop uh, as soon as I've um, got a bit more time. So uh, this tool storage consists of an 11 drawer uh, roll cabinet and a 9 drawer top chest. Um, they both have locking front panels. Um, the grade of the steel um, is pretty uh, good uh, thick stuff. Uh, you've got some nice chunky handles on the side here and um, you know a good good pull handle push handle on the side which can be fixed to the uh, opposite side of the chest as well the wheels um, are pretty pretty chunky stuff you've got an outer metal um, uh, frame on uh, some sort of plastic caster it's not really going to get rolled around so I'm not too worried about that uh, to be honest um, the top chest itself that was um, somewhere in the region of 200 pounds and the bottom roll cabinet was about 400 pounds I think there is an optional side chest that you can purchase which hangs off of these lips here and um, that is £161 and it gives you another few drawers. It comes out to about here uh, for a bit more storage, but I don't need that at the moment. So uh, let's take a look. Oh, that's my, that's the old stuff uh, that I had. I shan't be getting rid of that because my wife bought me that. Um, they, those sort of tool chests in the UK weren't particularly common then unless you bought Snap-on. I think it was only Snap-on that uh, produce those sort of things. Um, I've had those now for 22 years, something like that. Um, they've lasted me quite a long time. They are uh, friction draw on these guys, so I'm going to re grease all those up. Um, but uh, yeah, good time. So um, I have started loading up the tool chests, so there are some things I can think about about the real world use of it think about i mean talk about uh, the real world use of the tool chests and i want to talk about a couple of things for people to consider if they are going to be buying tool chests or uh, top cabinets now i went for these because um, it was a good size for the size of workshop that i have which is fairly small um, it's about five meters long by <clears throat> three meters um, deep which uh, over what I had before is a massive upgrade uh, and the roof space is reasonably high as well and I'm really enjoying using it. Um, I had looked at uh, a sort of full length five six foot long two foot deep but realistically it would have just been too big I'd have struggled to actually get it in here um, in any case uh, and it was considerably more expensive I would have been looking upwards of um, a thousand pound so I went for this one uh, because it has the wider drawers. The doors were, drawers were deeper um, and um, I'd experienced some, and had a look at the other things and I just knew that there were some tools which I wasn't going to be able to get into the drawers uh, which had quite not or not quite as wide uh, a drawer. So um, the top chest has this um, fold up uh, security uh, locking front there which I guess if you're in a garage environment is uh, good to have so people don't steal good tools 
Um, I think for me probably the only the thing that's going to serve me for is perhaps stopping the front of it getting messed up if I'm doing something messy in here. However, uh, I will. Uh, my aspiration was to um, have all my sockets live in the top of here. Uh, that was pretty quickly dashed, and that's something to bear in mind. Let's just get a socket. That's something to bear in mind when you're going out and looking at stuff. Is perhaps take a t your tallest socket with you. Uh, and things like that because with all the sockets loaded in here I then can't shut this so I am contemplating just punching out the piano hinge bar on that and um, taking this front cover off so the lid can come down it doesn't really have to come down to be honest um, it's just something I would have liked um, and I think that's a little bit of a design flaw when um, there are some drawers in the bottom cabinet I could use for sockets but they're at the bottom of the drawer. So that's another design thing to think about. If you're going to have a drawer full of sockets standing up is consider where they're going to go in relation to the tool storage. Because if you're using sockets all the time you don't want to have to keep bending down to pick up your sockets out of the bottom drawer. It's a minor thing for me, but obviously if you wanted to put your sockets in uh, the top here, you're not going to be closing that anymore. Um, it does come with um, a tote tray uh, to carry tools in and out with. Um, so that is uh, a nice handy addition. One thing I'm not a particular fan of, I appreciate that these have been put in for strengthening purposes but it really does then um, I have found well let's know it's not a massive restriction but I haven't been able to place the um, socket trays in here how I would have liked to have done because uh, these are in the way what I would have liked was the half inches all at the back and then the three eighths and then the quarter but because of these bars here I can't put two trays of half inch along the back which would fit. So I may build a platform for them to sit up on. Um, don't know, but when you, you know. Anyway, there we go. So um, the drawers uh, fronts are all quite nicely finished. They're all um, steel with this aluminium uh, face plate and there's end caps on here uh, as well. They have a, a night. There's a nice action to them uh, with the ball bearing slides. Um, all of the trays are lined. It would have been nice to see this top part lined as well, but I'll do that after the fact. And all the drawers, as you push them back, they have a a sort of detent to retain it. So if you move your uh, equipment or your tools around in a cab. These aren't going to, if you accidentally tip it forward, they're not going to uh, fall out. You know, the drawers aren't going to come forward and then all your tools come flying out. Now the bottom cabinet um, is the same sort of thing. This has um, two fold down flaps which then withdraw into the, <coughs> excuse me, withdraw into the um, box itself um, now one thing I have found with this is, is this is a little bit tricky to um, get in and I'll sort that out in a minute so another little bit of a design flaw with that frankly I would have rather they'd not bothered with that and put another drawer in uh, I would have found that more useful to be honest but in any case there we go so this is the uh, 11 drawer bottom cabinet I mean I might sound like I'm being a bit negative about this kit I'm not being negative I'm just being honest about my thoughts about it it's a lovely um, chest and um, roll cab I'm really pleased with it it's just these little things that you sort of think we well, could have executed that a little bit better um, same thing as the top chest you've got the ball bearing uh, guides and you can on here 
for re-greasing these in the future um, you've got a really quite nice way just say uh, this lever you just pull that down on both sides and the drawer will withdraw and then you can re-grease them so that's quite useful and they're all lined once again um, same thing as the top cab there we go and it it, it, re, it re, sort of retains it in the drawer action is quite nice you know I'm pleased with that um, the drawers are definitely um, better with things loaded into them Uh, the drawers have, I think it's a weight limit of something like 35 kilos uh, in the top chest, so it's a bit more in the bottom. Um, but if we have a look here, the, the big deep drawer has only got one uh, drawer slider, so it may have been a better idea to put two on those, but even so, um, there's a lot of kit in there, it's quite heavy, and it's doing fine. So, some things to think about there. If you're looking at this range of tool storage from Machine Mart, made by Clark, it's the HD Plus ball bearing range. Um, it's, it's nice, it is nice kit, compared to the other brands which are literally charging an arm, leg and a kidney. Uh, it's pretty good value for what you're getting and uh, I hope it serves me for... Uh, a long time to come. I mean, to be honest, I'll probably never have to buy any more tool storage ever again. Well, I haven't said that when my wife bought me this. I said the same thing. So <laughs> we'll see what happens in the future. Maybe I'll be adding that £161 uh, side cabinet on there at some point in the future. So let me know what you think of the um, tool chest. Oh, just one last thing. It would have been nice to see a gas strut here rather than these uh, locking hinges. Uh, I'm sure people have got some ideas about uh, the gas struts because this, the lid with this uh, steel cover is quite heavy. Um, so uh, that would have been a nice addition in any case. Uh, let me know if you've bought a tool chest recently and what you like or don't like about it because it's uh, quite a big investment for most of us and uh, something that we're going to be living with for quite some time. So uh, that's it for today and uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.